We begin with heartbreaking news from Robertson County today. Four children all under the age of 10 lost their lives in a house fire early this morning. We now know the names of at least one person being treated at Vanderbilt University Medical Center following the Springfield house fire that killed four children. News Channel 5 Sarah McCarthy is joining us live from the scene with that new information. Sarah. Well, Vicki, nine people were inside this home when the fire started, and investigators are still here trying to figure out exactly how that happened. Only five people made it out of the home alive, including an adult male named Julian Pope. He's in critical condition at Vanderbilt. Julian's oldest daughter, who is eight years old, is also in the hospital. Three others, including a woman and two more children, were able to escape. But four children did not survive. The Springfield Fire Chief says they were four, seven, eight, and nine years old. This all started when a neighbor noticed flames at the front of the home around 3.30 this morning. It only took firefighters three to four minutes to get here, but heavy smoke was visible throughout the home. One city official who represents this neighborhood says this is a tragic day for his community. This is devastating. It's devastating. I've been here 42 years and we've never had a tragic fire accident like this. Now we also we also spoke to the Springfield fire chief who says he shares that emotion. He's worked here for 40 years and he said this is the deadliest fire he's ever responded to. We will be here working with investigators to gather more information throughout the day. And we'll bring you those updates both on air and on our website. We're live in Springfield, Sarah McCarthy, News Channel 5. So sad. Thank you so much, Sarah. Also sad, in East Nashville, flames destroy an historic church, one that stood in the Inglewood area for decades. The Eastminster Presbyterian Church on Gallatin Pike caught fire yesterday afternoon. Then more than 12 hours after the initial call to emergency crews, that fire rekindled and spread again quickly with heavy wind fanning the flames last night. The ATF is assisting with that investigation.